What's up, YouTube? I'm going to uh, do a quick riff lesson of Icky Thump by uh, White Stripes. First, I'll play it once through, and then I'll break it down for you. Alright, so move up. So it starts off with an E power chord. All I'm doing is uh, hitting the top three strings. Top two, I guess. E power chords right here. I think it goes seven times and then and then you play an E power chord. And then a G power chord. And you go to the E power chord again, so. Starts off the E power chord, then you slide up the D string to the seventh fret. After you play that note, it should be, I usually slide from here. After you play that note, it should be sort of staccato sounding. You want to stop it. Like that. I'll play it through once you hear it. Alright, sort of, it stops doesn't ring like that so next notes you slide to that UK E power chord I slide down one fret and then just pull off so I only pick once so I, I practice it in sections that's how I learned it I tried to learn it up to speed in sections so I'd play like this Okay. After that, once you got that down, move to all picked. A string, fifth fret, A string, fourth fret, and A string open. Those I let ring. Followed by a mute, palm mute. G chord, and then an E chord, and that's it. Okay, second part, so I'll play it through once so you gotta hear it together. Starts off the same way, the second part. E power chord, pull off, then I slide G string, from the 5th to the 7th fret. Then I'll pick this note. Then I'll pick this note. And then it goes back to G power chord and the E. Then you play the first part again. The end is the D5, E5. I like to slide it down at the end. I think he kind of does that. I don't know. That's kind of staccato too, though. You don't want to. You don't want it to sound like that. All right. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope it helps.